Okay, very good. Well, let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move forward with that. Okay. And then, uh, Master Carter meets him. Welcome to the video. Today's topic of conversation is kind of interesting. The title's kind of interesting, right? Uh, what Toyota could there possibly be on the market that requires a waiting list? Well, uh, during this video, I'm going to share parts of my conversation with the salesman as well as gather uh, further details as to what exactly needed to happen to uh, let me get one of these. And what I did was put a deposit down on a 2017 Forerunner. Of course, it wasn't the base model. I had a 2014, which is the same exact body style as the 2017s, early last year, and I just had it for a few months and made a little bit of money on it. That was the base model. That was the SR5. So there are several models, and it ranges from the SR5, then it goes up to the Trail. Right above the Trail is the TRD Sport, and then they have the Premium models and then at the very top is the forerunner trd pro and that's the one that i ended up putting a deposit on and it looks like there's about a two month wait before they even know what kind of allocation i'm going to be able to get for myself i'm really hoping for the cement color which is on uh, audi is kind of like the nardo gray and then they have a similar gray kind of a flat gray on the new raptors also so that's the color i'm hoping for first um, which is unique because usually it's it's always got to be white, but I think that cement color is kind of special. So that's actually my first choice, and then second choice is going to be the white. Let me let me tell you how the process started. I was actually just a little bit curious. I had watched a video on YouTube uh, that had a TRD Pro Forerunner in it, and I missed my Forerunner. I really enjoyed it, so I called. Actually, I texted one of my buddies who works at a local Toyota dealership, and I asked him what's this like how hard is it to get one can I pay sticker how does this work and uh, he told me sorry we're out for 2017 no TRD Pro 4 runners uh, for the entire year I thought that was wild and so I called a couple other local Toyota dealerships and I was told the same thing at each store they were sold out for the year um, they weren't even sure how many allocations they were going to get. They weren't sure if they were going to be able to spec them or not. So I, I went ahead and searched for uh, some gently used ones. So I, I went to see all the local listings and I could not find a Forerunner TRD Pro below the MSRP until after about 30,000 miles on the vehicle. So the MSRP is right around $43,000. Uh, when I asked my buddy, he said that they were selling anywhere between $2,000 and $5,000 over sticker, which was insane. So as I was browsing through the used ones, I did find some gently used ones, but just because of supply and demand, they were selling over sticker. So uh, you'd find one for 10000 with 10,000 miles for $46,000, $47,000, $48,000. And then there were a couple really high mileage ones. I think they were 20, I don't know if they made them in 2015. It was either a 2015 or 16 model with over 40,000 miles. It was like 39. And so it's just like, that's absurd. That's an absurd way that this vehicle is holding its value. The Forerunner already does really well right there next to the Tacoma. So um, I decided to move forward and put my deposit down, as I already told you, uh, but only after quite a bit of searching. Frankly, I had to, uh, I, I searched across the nation and I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah. And the one I ended up finding was in Seattle, Washington, which works out pretty well because that's where my in-laws live. They live just outside of Seattle. And so makes a good reason for us to go see my wife's family out there. Um, so I'll share with you some of the conversation uh, that we had. So I need to know they come one way. Once the uh, vehicle is prioritized by Toyota and headed in our direction prior to it getting into uh, Portland, we can give you a call that you know there's some other options you can pick up. Yeah, yeah, so let me just give you, a, to tell you what the, uh, the vehicle itself would cost you. I don't expect or see on the horizon any, uh, uh, any price increases or anything, so it's not something that we typically they will tell us at times. Yeah, it was basically uh, so, 43, yeah, 43 360. Oh, okay. 43 360. All right. That's right. Plus tax, plus life, plus stock. Oh, yeah. And again, plus any other items that you would add as well. 
Uh, I'm not 100% sure at this point what I'm going to be doing with my current fleet. Uh, I just sold my motorcycle the other day. I still have my Jeep and my Golf R for me. My wife has the Maxima, so I'm not sure what's going to be replaced, how things will rotate. I don't really need two off-road vehicles, um, but at the same time, I don't know if I want the payment of the 4Runner, the Golf R, and the Maxima, to be frank, because none of those are paid off. Anyways, we'll see exactly what happens. Thank you so much for watching this video. Maybe you thought it was as wild as I did that there was a waiting list for a Toyota, but this is a very, in fact, one of the most special Toyotas that you can get right now um, until they get those Supras or whatever they might call them, if those ever go into production. Uh, anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, cheers.